was tumultuous time in India. It is tumultuous time in India still. The character of the tumult may have changed, but we are still in very, very difficult times. It was at that point of time in academia when the challenge to Dr. Nisak took upon himself was to understand the requirement of Persian as a language for the entire Indian population. And the task that he understood that India places before its scholars of Persia is to keep the windows and doors of medieval Indian history open. Because the whole of medieval Indian history is written and documented in Persian. If India loses its understanding, its way to be, its way to understand Persia, then India will always never be able to visit the original sources of its entire medieval Indian history. And it is in this context that Dr. Isaac, when he went to London and was working at Suas, doing his PhD research with the Professor Minowski, when he came in touch with the Iran Society of London and seeing that organization, it dwelt within him the desire that Calcutta should also have such a society and the society in Calcutta should take upon its shoulder the responsibility of the entire Indian population to keep its link with Persia alive. So he came back and he formed the society and his elder brother, Janab Abdul Halim, helped him all along. Dr. Isaac was a very, very warm student of Ashutosh Mukherjee. And coming from a family of commercial traders and entrepreneurs, setting up factories, setting up jute mills, after his educational qualifications in acquiring MA in Arabic studies, he was to join the family business processes. The Abdul Halim family and the Isaac family used to have a bank at that time called the Bengal Muslim Bank. But Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee dwelled upon and impressed upon Abdul Halim, who was at that time a compatriot of Nikhil Chubhashtra Dabur, to allow Dr. Isaac to continue with his academic pursuits. And hence, Dr. Isaac left the family business and commercial interest enjoying the academic process first at Dhaka University, then back again at Calcutta University, and retired at the Park in Arabic in Persia. And his love for the language ensured that he set up this institution which is celebrating his Indian Foundation Day. Janab Halim helped him in setting up many, many philanthropists across the board. The pictures are still adorning the hall of the society on both sides. The founder members are here above me. You can see their pictures of here coming from all castes, all religions, all communities, maintaining the secular fabric of what India was beginning to be born into. In 1944, the society was born. In 1947, we acquired an independence. We have made international linkages. Today, the University of Tajikistan has a corner dedicated its library to Dr. Mahmoud Isaac. And in their annual ritual program, where they respect Kabul Sanskritaya, their national thematic seminar of the Volga to Ganga, the Iran Society is the regular participant, and two delegations from India from the Iran Society has participated in these conferences held in Tajikistan. When I was in London, I got in touch with the Iran Society of London and their leadership. And I am happy to inform at the Indian Foundation Day celebration function that Anthony Pitt, who is presently looking after the Iran Society in London, has kindly given me this book that he has authored. And he has promised that in future programs, of the Iran Society of Kolkata, we shall be collaborating 
and most probably in the ensuing years, we will have representatives from the Iran Society in London participating in programs of the Iran Society of Kolkata. We also are in the process of developing relationships with the Persian-speaking Central Asian countries. We are looking at Pakistan, we are looking at Uzbekistan, we are looking at Kyrgyzstan, and we hope that these countries which use Persia and their variants in their linguistic requirements, the Iran society will be able to be in touch with them and establishing relationships beyond the borders of Iran between the entire Persian and Persian-like spoken languages. That is the task that we feel at the ATF Foundation a lot has been achieved a lot needs to be acquired to be achieved and the presence of all you today in this hall enthuses us that this is the way with your support and your active participation we will keep the flag of the down flag flying high. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you very much Dr. Fawad Khaled for presenting the history of the Iran Society as well as the relation between the Iran Society of London and the Tajikistan government. So I request Dr. Professor Mansur Bhagat to, to present his uh, speech about the Iran Society and his academic activities. Respected President, Dr. M. Kuroos, <coughs> our premier guest and the chief editor of the Muranika Professor Abhinder Sarkar, academic secretary general, Javed Yusuf, a very sincere teacher and poet, Dr. Shaman Shibli, our treasurer, Mr. Kishmani, Dr. Fawad Ali, who is living press and uh, most media audience. The Iran Society was established in 1944 and it arose on August 27th, this very day, with Dr. Amy's art acting as its set place on the second. Its existence is explained to the visionary of the course of the remarkable individual who advocated for the advancement of literature, culture, and education, particularly in the field of Iranian studies within this area. This marked the inception of the journey that ultimately resulted in the establishment of the large non governmental literary, cultural, and educational organization in Bengal. And indeed, you know, indeed, at a time when the tendencies are threatening to tear apart the several traffic of our country, beloved country, and its society, the Iran society stands like an oasis of cultural harmony, knowledge seeking, and in good ability. As the calendar turns to August 27 of every year, Persian lovers across India and John come together to express their good views and to present their good appreciations. This day marks not just the anniversary, anniversary of the society, but also a moment, movement that has played a pivotal role in shaping the literary and cultural landscape of Indian, especially Bengal. Foundation Day is several functions within the agency of or society. Essentially, it is a day dedicated to acknowledge and express thanks. This commemorates the presentations and endeavors of individuals who initiated the expedition, often in arduous circumstances, and take the path for future generations. This day serves as a special for inspiration and motivation. It acts as a reminder to present members of this possibility 
of the society for growth and achievement. For the making them actively contribute to the countless legacy. This is especially important in a large society where individual contributions may otherwise be small. One day, on the day of foundation, we commemorate the accomplishment of the past review, our renew our aspirations for the future. The day is celebrated with a very dear forum such as seminars, conferences, memorial lectures, symposiums, poetic associations and other cultural forums to the honor of this forum. Today is a day of great pride for the entire Persian world and its people as they reflect on their history of our pending achievements and look ahead to an unending future. Today is a momentous day as our society is celebrating the clear foundation day with great enthusiasm and splendor, marking the completion of 59 years since its certain way in 1944. Let us take our strenuous memories and valued audience as a journey back to the magnificent past moments of ambition to manage branches of knowledge at the foundation day, situation like this. The society's foundation day was first celebrated in 1945. Just after one year, it was in 1944, and after one year, it was uh, very calmly, very peacefully, and very in a short, in a short period, it was it was celebrated in the house of Dr. A. Ms. Ha, which they had made uh, that all its office. How about the first grand foundation was commemorated? celebrated when the office located to the historical hall where we are all sitting that belongs to the site. It was purchased. The whole in the was purchased by the Nasser. Since then, Iranian ambassadors, cultural, cultural consulates, educationists, traders, scholars, academicians, teachers, and people belonging to all sections of the country have joined this they also come to the society and, and invite them. Today, I am sorry here, it is very sorry that two great personalities, two judges who could not come to this, you know, what was going on today, just uh, before this time, that they could not come. We are sorry for that. But our great, one great figure, Professor Pavitra Sarkar, who is the chief editor of the Royal also, our patron also, our benefactor also, he is present here. I, I, I congratulate him. I rather thank him that he is here to fill the gap. Dear audience, we solemnly hope to exhaust our efforts in promoting and fortifying personal language and literature in this area. It is our commitment, as well as disseminating love, unity, secularism, what we just study stand for and cultural cohesion through this delightful language and literature that is Persian through, uh, through the platform of this society. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Mansur Rana, our Vice President and former General Secretary of the Iran Society. Now I request Dr. Asim Sanawa Shibli, Department, uh, Associate Professor of Department of the Mulanaza College, and a life member of the Iran Society to recite a poem especially composed for the people. Iran Society ke kasi saal ho gaye usi jo be kasis ke mukhe par aur mujhe parsum raat pe raat ke mukarram आजा जाके जूसुक में फोन किया के जिस तरह हमारे चचा हमारी शिक्षी हर प्रोग्राम में इरान सोसाइटी के हवाले से या उसके तेरे तमाम जो तकरीब हुआ करती थी उसके हवाले से दर्दनीक तरह से इशारा करते थे तो उस रिवायत को आप भी आगे बढ़ाइए तो उनका उनकी था तो जल्दी जल्दी जो कुछ उससे बन पड़ा मैंने लिखने की कोशिश की इसमें आप देखिए एक बात महसूस कीजिएगा 
کہ میں نے مارتی اور دار کو ملانے کی کوشش کی ہے اور اس کوشش میں کہاں تک میں کامیاب ہوا ہوں بس کیا ہے کہ بس میں ایران سوسائٹی خوب ہے بس میں ایران سوسائٹی خوب ہے یہ ادارہ ترقی سے منصوب ہے یہ ادارہ ترقی سے منصوب ہے شکر ہے آج پورے ہوئے اسی سال شکر ہے آج پورے ہوئے اسی سال اس کے چہرے پہ آیا نہ رنگے زوال اس کے چہرے پہ آیا نہ رنگے زوال ڈاکٹر حضرت اس آپ بانی جو کے ڈاکٹر حضرت اس آپ بانی جو کے خاجہ یوسف بھی ایک صدر اس کے بنے خاجہ یوسف بھی ایک صدر اس کے بنے بس میں مسلے گل کے ہمارے حلیم بس میں مسلے گل کے ہمارے حلیم ان کی آمد سے آتی کی باہ کمین ان کی آمد سے آتی کی باہ کمین صدر اس کے رہے سکری اور دی اللہ پتہ نہیں دیا رہا تھا صدر پھینکے دے میرے گل میں نہیں ہے میں نے اپنے حافظے سے لکھ دیا صدر اس کے رہے شکلی اور ہیرہ لار سب نے خدمات انجام دی بے مثال موتمید خاص تھے اس کے ایم اے مجید موتمید خاص تھے اس کے ایم اے مجید ذکر ان کا زبان سے ہے کرنا بہید ذکر ان کا زبان سے ہے کرنا بہید رکن سرگرم تھے ایک محمد امین رکن سرگرم تھے ایک محمد امین دوسرے دوسری بیگینی مرد زہین دوسرے دوسری بیگینی مرد زہین نام زندہ رہے سارے حضرات کا نام زندہ رہے سارے حضرات کا اے خدا بے سلائی کی خدمات کا کر نہ پائیں گے ان کو فرام ہو کر کر نہ پائیں گے ان کو فرام ہو کر ہم رحمائی کوئے ان کے نقش قدم رحمائی کوئے ان کے نقش قدم سب گردان رکھتا تو دل سے سلام دے رہے ہیں دعائے سبھی خاص وام اب جو موجود اس کے عراقین ہیں اب جو موجود اس کے عراقین ہیں یہ سبھی لائے کے دار و تحصیل ہیں صدر ہے اس کے پیروں میں آلی مقام صدر ہے اس کے پیروں میں آلی مقام ہے سنبھالے ہوئے سارے ہی انتظام صدر نائب جو منصور عالم ہوئے تو کمل والیا ان سے باہم ہوئے آج جاوید یوسف ہوئے موتمد بس ان کے کام میں رہتے ہیں مستعید آج جاوید یوسف ہوئے موتمد بس ان کے کام میں رہتے ہیں مستعید اس میں شامل ہے بابار سربر نسار اور خاجہ کے نائب بنے افتخار اور خاجہ کے نائب بنے افتخار آپ نے حضر ان سب کی خدمات ہے محسن و موتبر سارے حضرات ہے خاص مہمہ ہے جو آج تقریب کے سارے پرور دائیں سارے پرور دائیں ان متحضیب کے اپنے جسٹف مخرجی کی آمن کمار کے دنوں اتفاق سے آل ہو گائے اپنے جسٹف مخرجی کی آمن کمار اور پویترا سرکار سب سی وقار شخصیت ان سبوں کی ہے آلی مقام سارے دانش وروں کو ہمارا سلام جشن یوں ہی مناتے رہے ہر برس جشن یوں ہی مناتے رہے ہر برس جہاں میں دانش بلاتے رہے ہر برس رنگ رونک رہے بزن کی کیوں صدا ماہر جلم و دانش کو اس کے قدا شکریہ Thank you very much for the last session of our show team for presenting you Sons of Boston Coin I request Dr. Peter Zip A Professor National Industry of Critical Sciences to come on the guys and speak them about their own society Dr. Peter Zip A is the son of Professor Barun Zip
لیتے تھے نظام الدین احمد طبقات اکبری فرام پرشن ٹو انگلیش اینڈ ہی واز نوٹ ٹو بی مینلی پرشن از مور دین سول سروس ہی واز آل دیٹ سکسیزفل ان دا سول سروس ادو ہی ریٹائر آفٹر 35 ایئر ان سروس ایز اے ڈسٹرکٹ مجسٹریٹ ان کلیکٹر پوکلی ان 1910 after which he took up the rather uh, tough task of translating the Pate Akbari from Persian to English in three volumes, two of which came out in his lifetime, and the third one was posthumously published uh, by uh, Professor Baini Prasad, who was his uh, disciple and his admirer. And I think that uh, Pate Akbari, as you would know, is the first Uh, major work on the history of uh, Mughal India. Uh, but I think the Iran society which I have been asked to speak on would perhaps be interested if to pick up this book. It, it's published by the Asiatic Society of Bengal and uh, do some more research on the subject very under the focus of the work. I am not an expert on the team. Uh, I think we need to revive the study of Persian in, uh, in Bengal and in Bengal, India. And also with that I would like to add a few words on the need to stress on Urdu, Urdu language. Uh, when I came back to India from England in 2003, I was asked by uh, the Honorable Former Minister uh, Salman Khushik Sahib to uh, write two articles on Urdu. اسی طرح 
मेरा आपसे मिला आज सिंपोजियम कॉन्फ्रेंस और गाहे बताए मुख्तलिफ दानश्वरों और शायरों पर फंक्शन का इनका करके पार्टी की खिदमत अंजाम देता रहेगा मैं मौजूदा काउंसिल के तमाम हजरात का तय दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ इस उम्मीद के साथ कि वो ईरान सोसाइटी को और आगे की तरफ ले जाएंगे और जो कमियां पिछले आदवार में पिछले जमाने में रह गई हैं मौजूदा तरक्की याफ्ता दौर के तकादे के मुताबिक इस सोसाइटी को आगे ले जाने की भरपूर कोशिश करेंगे इन बातों के साथ अब तमाम हजरात का शुक्रिया बिलखसूस अनाकी में ईरान सोसाइटी का शुक्रिया Thank you very much, Doctor Professor Sanvir Ahmed Sahab. Now I would like to invite our guest of honor, Professor Pavitra Sarkar, former Vice Chancellor of the Pravindra Bharti University and patron of the Law Society, as well as the editor in chief of our journal in the Muskegon, Doctor Professor Pavitra Sarkar.
important it deserves. The 80th year is also very important because uh, it shows that, that a society that has survived so many years has a long way to go. It has done tremendous work during its lifetime. The journal has received international acceptance. And I know from personal knowledge that the present authorities of Iran society have been able to establish international connectivity with other societies, like-minded societies, focused on it, the study of Persian literature and language, uh, in other places of the world, London, Uzbekistan, all those places. And this connectivity will help this society a lot. When I was a young student, I used to come here at this society to learn from Persian. There was a teacher from the Persian government and the textbooks were also provided by the Persian government. And I studied the rudimentary Persian, Baba, Nam, Don, all kinds of things. The grandfather had given us bread or something. I couldn't forget much, but I have had, and as I am a linguist of thought, uh, I have great respect for the study of Persian, of Persian language, literature, and culture. As you all know, the British, at the beginning of their adventure in India, they thought that Persian was the national language of India. The Indians spoke Persian. They were completely ignorant that there were native languages in India, like Bengali, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Gujarati, etc. But they thought Persian was spoken by all the Indians. And so the civilians and the other people who wanted to had a job under the East India Company, they started learning Persian vigorously. Or as you know, Sir William Jones studied Persian because he wanted to come to India on a job and he also wrote a grammar of Persian. And this has been acknowledged by a grammarian of Bengali, a British grammarian of Bengali called Halhead, Nathaniel Brassi Halhead would say that Englishmen had this misconception that Persian was the language of India. It was, it was the administrative language that the Mughal court, as you all know, and became the official language of Bengal, also Bengal presidency. Uh, between 1576 and 1835. 1835 was the year when English became the Indian state language, administrative language, as you say, by the dictum of uh, Macaulay, as you all know. All Bengalis used to learn Persian, uh, yes, and they like the Tagore's Raja Ram Mohan Rai, a poet like Bharat Chandra Rai, they all knew fluent Persian and used them in Bengali to create in Bengali literature and poems that these are full of Persian words. So Bengal also has a very close relationship with Persian and it is only in the propriety of things that an Iran society has been established in Kolkata and has been nurtured by the city. And I hope it will have 
more and more, I, I, I'm sure we have a website of it now. I should, I think it should also open the Facebook page of it now. We are so thank you to have it, mm -hmm. Facebook page. Yes. And have more connectivity, more exposure to the local people. Mm -hmm. What it does, what it is for, what, where it wants to go further. All these kinds of discussions should be there on the Facebook because that, that is the most popular social media now. I don't know if they have it already, if they have it already, but if there is none, they should have one. So I wish a great, I wish and dream a great future for the society. The society is in able hands and uh, I and I have taken a small role by the side of these able people who are running the society now. And I wish the society all a great future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Sorka. जैसे अभी देख रहे थे ईरान सोसाइटी का अस्सी साल फाउंडेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन किया जा रहा था वहाँ पे ईरान सोसाइटी के लोग बैठे हुए थे शायद 
उनके बड़ी मशहूर गजल थी And for some years it was like this, this 
this thing was back in this, this activity was back in. Now we have got a very dynamic poet, a very authentic poet, a Bodhu, and you have just heard him, the Chana of Chakra. I also, uh, I, I can't forget my friend, you should understand, who, 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 who in that way they have affected. When all these things were seen here, the freshness of this all, the fragrance of this all, everything is looking here, laughing, he works for this. And we are together now, and I also express my heart and thank and thank you to Mr. Kashman. And lastly, without no cooperation, it was very, very difficult to make this program successful. Yes. The cream of the society are, are sitting over this uh, cream is what you say here. And always, you know, so it invites the people from all walks of life who are called cream of the society. So I am also very grateful to all of you that you decide to disturb in Calcutta, you are here. Thank you.